students. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had fun yesterday with Animal Flow. If you missed it, you should go back and try it. It's a lot of fun. Today, Tuesday, we are going to start off with a dynamic warm-up. So we're going to start off with half jacks. So with half jacks, your arms only go halfway up. Ready, go. Machine. When you do the washing machine, you put your feet together and you just twist your lower body. So you're like this and your feet just move side to side. So you're jumping and turning, jumping and turning. So if you've ever seen the inside of a washing machine, some of them have a mechanism in the middle that twists the laundry in order to get it clean. Our next one is lunges. So you're going to stand with your feet together. You're going to step out. Your back knee is going to touch the ground and then you're going to push back. Step out. Back knee touch the ground. Push back. Step out. Back knee. Push back. Step out. Back knee touches. All right, our next one is marching in place. Really high knees, really big arms. We do this so we can get blood to all our major muscles. So all our muscles are nice and warm when we start our exercises. Back to the beginning, half jacks. And you guessed it, now it is the washing machine. Feet together, jump and twist. lunges, feet together, going to step forward with one foot, your back knee is going to touch the ground, push back, step forward, bend down, push back, just try and go as low as you can, if your knee can't touch that's okay. Now you're nice and warm, your heart should be pumping, you might even be a little bit sweaty, and you are ready to start our lesson today. All right, this is for Tuesday. Hi students, today we are going to work on more balance. So we're going to talk about bases of support 
And we're also going to talk about tight, tight muscles versus relaxed muscles. So when your muscles are tight, so if you try and squeeze your legs, they tighten up and it makes it easier to balance. You know when you do this and you make a muscle, that's tight, you're flexed. Then when you're relaxed, they're more like a noodle. All right, so our beginning um, balance is going to be just standing here. I want you to feel both of your feet on the ground. I, that's two bases of support. I want you to suck in your stomach and I want you to stand up really, really, really tall. Now I want you to stiffen your body so your body, if somebody came and pushed you, you wouldn't be able to be pushed over. So make it really stiff. Really push your feet into the ground. And relax. Oof. All right. Now, you're still going to have two bases of support. You are going to just reach out like you're sitting in a chair. Still, I want you to think about bringing your belly button in. So you're not sucking in your stomach and holding your breath. You're just tightening your stomach muscles and tightening your leg muscles. So we still have two bases of support. Now, I want you to laugh and hold your belly. <laughs> I still have two bases of support. I want you to spread your feet apart and I want you to go, oh no. You still have two bases of support. All right, now, when my feet are wide, that's a better base of support. So the wider my feet are, the harder it is to um, push me over, or if the wind blew, it'd be harder to knock me over. Now we're going to put our feet together. And you're gonna take your hands, and you're gonna put them together straight over your head. You're gonna suck your belly button in. You're gonna try and stand up really tall, try and touch the sky. Now, something that will help you, and I know we've talked about this before, you need to pick a focal point. So you need to pick something in front of you that is not moving and keep your eyes on your focal point. So maybe for right now, it can be your computer or your Chromebook or your iPad, whatever you're watching. So let's try that again. Feet together, pick out your focal point and just Reach your hands up, 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 up. Watch your focal point. Do not take your eyes off your focal point. As tall as you can. And down. Now, same thing. This is an owl pose. So you're gonna stand up really tall, pick out your focal point, and just pick your hands up like you're starting to fly. Belly button in, stare at your focal point. Feel your feet all the way into the ground. Stand up really tall. And down. Now, we're going to do an eagle. So I want you to pretend like you're flying. Feet together. Stare at your focal point. And move your arms back and forth. Back and forth. So these are static balances. So, when you are... That one's actually dynamic. That one's actually dynamic. Static means you're standing still. Dynamic means you're moving. So if you're moving, that's a dynamic balance. Just like our warm up was dynamic, it just means that you're moving. All right, now I want you to stand up really tall. This is going to be a static balance. Most of them are. The eagle is the only one where you move. Stare at your focal point. I want you to take one foot, whichever one you want, it doesn't matter and put it on the inside of your leg and reach straight up. Suck in your stomach, stare at your focal point, tighten your muscles so you're not wiggling. Now I want you to try your other side. See which side you're better at. Stare at your focal point, foot on the inside of your knee. Nice and tall, tighten your muscles. All right, and down. Yeah. 
Now I would like you to put your feet out, bend your knees. So we have two bases of support. So all of these are super easy because we have two bases of support. Two bases is easier than one base. So when we did the tree, we had one base of support. Now I want you to put your knees in so they touch. And I want your arms in like this, touching. Try and touch your knees together. Two bases of support. All right, now we're gonna do another dynamic balance. So dynamic just means we're moving. So I want you to stand on two feet. I want you to take your left hand, put it up like this, and you're gonna cross it over to your right knee and then down. Now do your other one. Down. Down. Down, so you're crossing. So one elbow is going to the leg on the other side. So this side is going to this side. This side is going to this side. So this one, your opposite, this one, your opposite. So when you're picking up your knee, you still have to be balanced. Otherwise you tip over, okay? So you're st still staring at your focal point. So elbow to your knee, elbow to your knee, elbow to your knee, elbow to your knee. So that's another dynamic balance two bases of support, and then you go to one base of support. So as soon as you lift your knee up, you're on one base of support. As soon as you lift your other knee up, you're on one base of support. And it's always harder to balance with one base of support. We are going to continue to work on our belly breathing. So this is called bag breathing. It's the same thing as belly breathing except you're supposed to have a bean bag. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have a bean bag at home. So, I got a dog toy. You can get a stuffed animal. You can get whatever you want to get. You're going to lay down on the floor and you are going to put the object on your stomach. So if you need to go get an object, go ahead and pause the video and get one and then come back. We'll wait. All right, so the goal is, is to breathe in and get your stomach to rise so you can see how high you can get your bean bag to go or your toy or your stuffed animal, whatever you have. All right, ready? Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Exhale just means you blow the air out. So when you breathe in, you inhale. Get the back to go up. And when you exhale, you blow the air out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So that's another way to practice belly breathing. So yesterday we just had our hands on our tummy. Today we had an object on our stomach so we could see how high we could get that object to go with our belly breathing. So that's it for Tuesday. Please use your belly breathing when you get stressed or angry or you need to fall asleep. I hope you have a great rest of your day.